welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. This orchid has me baffled. This is Neo Stylus Loose Neary Blue. Apologies for the barking in the background. It's a beautiful day outside. So the dogs are outside as well. Not mine. Mine are outside, but they're not the ones barking. So I do apologize if I can't eliminate that disturbance. Neo Stylus Loose Neary Blue. Beautiful, huh? Super fragrant. But why does it have me baffled? Well, let me tell you a little bit of the history. These two are one and the same. Early in my channel journey, I did a video and I separated this top piece from this orchid because this was coming out the center here of this piece. But because it keeps doing this to the spike year after year after year, it will bloom, it will grow a spike. But look at that spike. If that isn't an odd spike, I can't tell you. It starts growing normally, nicely. Starts with the buds, in this case, one bud. And then it starts doing a really weird thing of twisting and curling. And never really amounts to anything after that. No more buds, nothing. So this could be a scale right here that I didn't notice until now, but please don't think that that is the case every year. Actually, I don't know what that was, but it's gone. Pests have not been a history with this orchid at all. That is not why the spike is doing what it's doing. And I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. So in that video, I separated the top piece from the rest of the orchid in order to assess what is going on. There is nothing wrong with the rhizome. Thank goodness that was clean. So we've eliminated that factor. During the two years prior to its separation, these pieces, all these fans here never bloom despite their maturity. So they were always just there. And then two years in a row, I only had the potted piece bloom, but only one bud, maybe another one, but it was distorted and not presenting itself properly. This is the first season for this main piece here now finally to bloom. So the cut, good idea, because now it's stressed the bottom part out and it is spiking like crazy. Got one spike here, one here in bloom, another one there. And we can go around, there's another one here. But, let's zoom in. Look at that. Look at that spike. It starts off normally, good growth. It starts off with buds. Then it starts to do the weirdest thing again and starts curling. Maybe this bud will bloom, maybe it won't. What do I know now? This fan here clearly has the same issue as the mother piece. So let's look around, let's turn it around and have another look-see and get another example. Let's focus in on this spike right here. What is that all about? Same thing. Grows normal, comes up. We've already got a failed bud right at the bottom. This bud is not going to amount to anything. I have one bud that will probably bloom and another teeny tiny little one that might or might not even amount to anything. And the spike is doing the same weird thing as the others. So this fan is also compromised. However, it has two spikes. So let's look at the second spike on that same fan and see if we can see anything. That is this one, which is blooming. This bud has just opened. Let's bloom right here. 
just opened today. I have a second bud, so I'll get two blooms on this one. I'm going to change the angle so that we can see how the end of the spike has developed. It just stopped. There is no twisting here, but it just stopped in this little bud. Nada. So let's check out the one that is blooming nicely. In inverted commas, blooming nicely because it's not really. Yes, I have four blooms. This is the first time and the only spike so far that has ever given me four blooms. And let's zoom in on the tip. Look at that. Same thing. Twisted, stunted, deformed, compromised. I'm going to stay in on the blooms a little bit because to my understanding, these are not compromised. There is no color break. They are perfect because of how beautifully metallic they are. I hope the camera picks that up. Again, they're beautifully fragrant. And I believe that the wrong display of this one is simply because of how the spike starts to twist. So there's that. First spike on any of these pieces, this one in the back and this one, that actually managed to bloom four blooms. So this fan is, whatever is going on, healthier than the entire rest of the plant. And I may need to tie a ribbon around it in case I want to separate it. But yeah, the setup in these two pieces now is a bit different. So here I have lava rock only, basically to weigh down the basket so it won't be too volatile in the wind. And here I have my preferred setup of just lecker and self-watering, and it's doing great. It did not object one minute to going into the setup from being the top piece here with aerial roots and straight into a very moist environment. It's even growing two new fans since I did this spring of 2020. So the setup didn't seem to help the situation one bit. And I am a little bit baffled by all of this, to be honest, because I love this orchid, but I don't know what to make of the circumstances. So if you can see what the issue is, I would be really, really grateful. Let me just add, when I fertilize, I have 300 parts per million of MSU fertilizer in my bucket. I also use seaweed on occasions. So this year, especially with these two, I have completely cut back on the seaweed it wasn't a monthly thing for these two because I thought I was making the spikes go deformed by having too much seedweed. There was too much growth hormones going in and they couldn't cope. So the, I reduced the seaweed for these not every month, but every second month. But at the same rate of 40 parts per million, sometimes 30 parts per million of seaweed. And it's not that either because clearly we are still seeing the same issues as it's always shown me at least the top piece because this is the first time I'm seeing any blooms and spikes on the bottom piece and the same with a fertilizer I didn't fertilize this piece as much this one got its 300 parts per million but once the reservoir was absorbed I would flush it and only put plain RO water in no fertilizer wait for that to be absorbed flush it and then put fertilizer in because I thought maybe I'm pushing it on the fertilizer front. So both pieces have had a 50% reduction in fertilizer than they normally would have gotten and a 50% reduction in seaweed. I wonder what your thoughts will be. I look forward to hearing about your thoughts. I'm super curious and I want to say thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video and troubleshoot with me. Now that I've done this video, I'm very glad because in previous videos, I've always said I need to do a separate video on this orchid because, and here it is. This is the reason I wanted to do a separate video to pinpoint what I've noticed and what is still going on. And I am totally, totally baffled, brain scratch, I would say. Looking forward to hearing from you. Even if you don't have an answer, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.